Mathematica can easily handle sequences and I'm going to show you how to do that now. And the example that we're going to have is we have the sequence, the terms a sub n look like cosine 2 over n. And the first thing we want to do is list out 30 terms of the sequence. So the easiest way to do this is by defining um, a function, so I'm going to call this a, with the variables n. Now Mathematica is distinguishing n as any input, but we understand for sequence the inputs are going to be natural numbers. We have cosine of 2 over n, so there's my function. Right. Now if I want to list out the first 30 terms of the sequence, and before I list out 30 terms of the sequence, I thought about something. Cosine values we want to be numeric, so I'm going to do capital N, the numeric function around my cosine. And so for example, if I want my first term, I just hit a sub 1, and there's my first term. But I want the first 30 terms, so the way I can do this is through a table. I'm going to say table, and I want to list a sub n, n going from 1 to 30. There they are. Now these are not presented too well, so what I can do there is take table form around my table, and to make it clear which term I'm talking about, I'm going to make this an ordered pair n a sub n. So you can think of this as like two different columns. The first column being what number term in the sequence I am, and the second column being the actual value. When I hit shift enter, you can see here that I have 30 terms and these are the values. So they're the first 30 terms of my sequence. Alright, now to plot the first 50 terms of my sequence, which is what I want to do next, I'm going to use list plot. So what I'm going to do is at first I need to generate a table of points. So I'm going to use table again, just like we just did. And I'm going to go in from 1 to 50 this time. Okay, now that just gives me a table just like I had. But to plot this, I'm going to use the list plot function around that table. And there it is. There are the first 50 terms of the sequence plotted in a list plot. All right, now a neat thing you could do to play around with this idea is if I use the manipulate function around this list plot that's around my table, I'm going to let my table go from 1 to k this time instead of 50. And make sure you get all your brackets in. And here I'm going to let k vary from, let's say, 1 to 100. Okay, now I'll have a list plot that I can change. So that's my first term. But as I drag k along, I'm adding terms into the sequence. And I can go out to the first 100 terms. And it gives you a good idea of what's going on in this plot, right? Okay, so we can guess just by looking at the plot that we see here, it looks like we're going to have, we there's some sort of asymptote here at 1. So that would be a guess of what the limit of my sequence is. But to find out for sure, I'm going to use the limit function. So I'm going to say limit a sub n. And here I want n going to infinity. Mathematica can calculate the limit. There it is, 1. And it says 1 period because, remember, we put a numeric value around our cosine function at the beginning. But there it is. Okay, so using table, list plot, li manipulate, the limit function, these are all very useful in handling sequences and eventually series as well. If you have any questions on this, I'd be glad to help. Please let me know, and thanks for watching.